Hi, I'm Brad with Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions, and today we're going to talk a little bit about float drains. Uh, basically, uh, we have questions all the time, why do float drains fail? Um, one of the primary reasons a float drain fails is it gets contamination in there. And most float drains, it's not a matter of if it's going to fail, it's just when it's going to fail. So there's some precautions that can be uh, used to extend the life of a float drain. But basically, a float drain uh, has a screen here, and it has a little float, and it goes in the bottom of a filter, and when water accumulates in the bottom of the filter, that float raises up, and there's a series of events that happen internal in this float valve that allow water to pass through and exit out the bottom of the, uh, the valve. And if you zoom in here, you can kind of see the components here that are in a float. What I've done here is I've taken a typical float apart so you can see the internal components that go in this float drain. But you can see there's a little clip right here and there's a little poppet right here. And when this float raises up, that allows the internal pressure to change, allowing a piston to move forward and the, the water will flow through this screen and out the bottom. So here's the components, what they look like from the, uh, from the inside. At the bottom, you can see this little plunger. There's a little seal on there, this little plunger. So when this plunger raises up, it creates an opening for fluid to go out the bottom of the drain. There's a little spring here. It sits in a housing like this. And in the top of this housing, there's a very, very small orifice. There's this little poppet right here. And when the float is put in there, this little poppet goes down and seals the top of that orifice. And there's a little clip that goes through here and attaches to this little clip on the, uh, the float. So what happens is you can see when this comes up, that little poppet there, I don't know, it's really hard to probably see on the camera there, but it actually moves up and down. So when this raises up, that allows this piston to come up, water flows through there. When the float comes back down, this poppet shuts off and this goes back down. What normally happens on most float drains is it fails shut. On our particular float drain in, in our filters, our Tsunami brand filters, we've tested over 20 different manufacturers of float drains. And we have found this particular float drain here, we have about a 90% chance that when this sticks or fails, it fails in the open position, which is really important because it'll keep draining and keeping the water out of your system, but it's going to have a leak. If there's no water in there, you're going to have, hear air hissing out the bottom of the filter. If that float fails shut, now your whole system is going to flood, and that would be um, you know, uh, very poor for the performance of your system downstream. Generally, when you start to hear the hissing, that means that that little poppet is stuck open and there's debris in there that's caused it to stick open. So you have a couple options. One is you can take it apart very carefully, but you can see there's quite a few components in here and it's going to take a little bit of time to clean it. You can clean it out in warm soapy water and then uh, blow it off with a little air hose and then reassemble it. But as you can see, there are some critical features, components in there and taking it apart, you got to be careful doing that. Um, most customers, because of the inexpensive nature of this type valve, most of them will just replace it. And it's very easy to replace. You can buy them in like a five pack and um, it takes just a few minutes to take it out and replace it. Another option you can have, uh, other than using a float drain, and it's normally debris that causes these to fail. So with the Tsunami brand product line, we have many more drain options available. We can use a pneumatic piston drain, we can use a moisture minder drain, we can use one of our EDV valves, which are well more suited for dirty, contaminated environments. To view these drains, you can go to our website, tsunami.us.com, or you can call uh, our 800 number, 1-800-782-5752, and you can get information or have information sent to you on all the different drain options we have.